Welcome back. This is lesson number five. This will be the last of the five-week introduction. What we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at the first checklist. Um, I'm going to just get you started on what you need to know. I've got pulled two sheets up here, and we're going to go through them. So on the, on the left side here, you can see I'm just revising the daily practice sheet for you. So these are the things, the essential skills, picking, chords, arpeggio, scales, rhythm, reading, oral, and theory. We've covered all those skills now. We, we know the skills that we're going to be doing, and this is consistent right throughout your guitar uh, career, if you like. You'll always be working on these areas. Um, the, the, there's, no, there's no point that you'll get where you can say, I don't, don't need to do any of those skills any longer. It's all about skill practice, constantly developing those skills. Now, if we come over to the right side here, you'll see it's the, the senior student checklist level number one. What you want to do here is you want to print one of these out, make sure you've got one on hand, um, just put your name at the top if, if you can, and then um, put in the commencement date. The expected completion date is 12 months from now, but what you're hoping to do is to do it much faster. That, that's the, 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 the longest period that you want to take on this is 12 months. If it takes you more than 12 months, then you're really not doing enough practice and things are going too slowly. If you work with a teacher, it will happen in half the time. You'll be able to do this in six months with a G4 guitar teacher and coach. So let's have a look here at what you need to do. I'll just quickly run through some of the skills here. Um, it, it, the first thing there, obviously, is picking. and You need to be able to do exercises one to five at 80 bits per minute. So I'm just going to bring up the metronome here, and I'm going to give you an idea of what 80 beats per minute is. This is a free online metronome, by the way. So you need to be able to do all four exercises at that tempo. Okay, so you can go here. You can see that it's at metronomeonline.com. And you should be able to search for that and you'll be able to find that and bring it up on your own computer. Now, the next thing you need to be able to do is the chords. We've got a C, a G, a G7, A minor, a D, E7, and A7. Now, you have not learned all these chords yet, but you will. And through the process of the first level here, you're going to be learning those chords. I'm changeable at 65 beats per minute. So again, we go back to a metronome. Let's just get an idea of what 65 beats per minute is. I'll bring it down here. It's got 66 on here. So you need to be at example C, G, G, C, G, G7, A minor, D, E7, A7. So that's changing at that speed. So if you're playing a song and the chords were at that, or the tempo was at that speed, you'd be able to change those chords nicely. Remember, the chords have to come out clearly as well. And you want to be able to change between any of those chords. So it's not just a matter of changing from C to G. You need to be able to change from C to A minor, C to D, C to E7, and C to A7. Now, as I said, the, the longest period you want to take on this is 12 months, and I, I, I can't really think of any students I've had that have taken 12 months to complete this. Just about every student I've had has done it within six months, and that's really what you're aiming for. Um, some students do it in as little as three months, but generally they've had some experience um, on other musical instruments, or they, they're not complete guitar beginners. Okay, so the next thing there is the arpeggios. You need to be able to play those at, again at 65 beats per minute. So if we go back to our metronome, let's just take the, the first one there. One. I'm just going to turn the volume up a bit there. Get a bit louder on the metronome. Okay, so we've got two, three. So that's a slow, slow speed for an arpeggio, but that's what you need to be able to do it at, at for this first level. It's not too difficult, um, but you need to get every note sounding clear. Okay, the D, the scales, sorry, just on the arpeggios, um, there are two ways to play arpeggios. That's what we call the hum, harmonic arpeggio, and that's where every note is, is being sounded out, which I'll explain a little bit more 
as we go along, and the other is what we call um, the melodic arpeggio, which is where we play one note at a time, like a melody. We don't keep notes hanging on, but as I said, I'll explain that a little bit more later. Now, scales. We've got the open C scale um, at 70 beats per minute. So we'll bring it up to 69 there, and it'll be like this. Descending as well. Okay, so that's that one. So just really going through the, the checklist here so you know what you need to achieve to tick off those boxes. Um, uh, e is strumming. You have to be able to strum all the exercises from the lessons one and two of the rhythm book. That's, now that's very easy. It shouldn't take you much at all to do that. I'm not going to go through those here, but we will be touching on them in the future. Um, reading lessons one to six of, um, this is the Progressive Guitar Method book. Um, Progressive Guitar Method book is a book you can order online, and if you you, can, you want to grab a copy, we've got the, the G4 reading, which is really just extra exercises. We call them, it's more progressive and the idea with the G4 one is that it supplements the Progressive Guitar Book. The Progressive Guitar Book is really good and, and the one that we recommend comes with a CD and a DVD as well. So you can use that for your reading. Um, and you need to be at it when it says steps one, two, and three. Um, it simply means you need to do the listen, the, the rhythm, and the melody, but you don't need to combine it at that point. Um, on lessons five and six. So you need to do all, all lessons one to six um, complete at the tempo. And when when we say the reading, it needs to be played at the tempo that it is on the CD. So when you get the book, you'll hear the CD, you need to be able to play it and read it at that point. Remember, it's reading, it's not memorizing. Keep that in mind. Now, oral, which is the pitch. So in this case, what you need to be doing is recognizing the four note melodies on the first, second, and third strings. So in other words, we're only using the, the notes of the G to G scale, which you learned earlier on. It'll just be from that note. So it could be something like this. It could be... So you need to be able to play that back. So when, the, when, when I play it for you or a teacher plays it for you, you need to be able to recognize it and play it back. So if, uh, I could do this. So you then need to be able to repeat it back. Okay, so that's four note melodies, only using those first, second, and third strings. So in other words, the E, F, and G notes on the first string, the B, C, and D on the second string, and then the G and the A on the third string. Now, it, it, it may seem difficult at this point, but as we do exercises, you can progress through it, you'll get better at it. And the second part is clapping back the exercises from the rhythm book. Uh, lesson two. So, so I'll be able, I will cl clap any of those. So, for example, it might be, and then you need to be able to clap that back. One and two, three, four. Okay. And the songs. Um, there's a few songs here. I'll just give you a little bit of an idea of how they go. Um, that's birthday. It's just a riff. Um, that's the Beatles, they say it's your birthday. Um, then Good Riddance. That's that, it's just an arpeggio exercise that we will incorporate into a song uh, for Good Riddance sake. Um, Sweet Home Alabama. And we do a, a simplified version of that. We only need to do that first part. There's a little run in it. But we're not going to do the run, we're just going to do the chords. It's more of a chord exercise, but we're going to do the first part of the arpeggio. And then Smoke on the Water, which is quite simple. And that's it. And they're the four songs that you're going to do for that first level. They're not difficult, um, but they will require you to get the skills right. Okay, so that's 
that's the first part that that's basically covering the checklist just to give you a bit more idea on the checklist and how it's laid out is that down the bottom here where it says comments this is really for you to write notes or for the teacher to write notes on what you need to be doing for each of those skills the picking the chord scales etc from week to week just write it in pencil because things change uh, and you can just rub it out and move on and once you've completed that level once all the boxes are ticked and we're happy that you, you can do everything on that page then you move to the, to the second level and then there's a third level as well and after you've completed all three levels then you can go on to exams um, in Australia we have AMEB but you can do Trinity exams in the UK um, and there are various exams in different countries depending on where you live okay so that's the first part of this lesson the fifth lesson this is like I said the, the, the last part of the introduction um, so what we're going to do in the second part of this lesson is we're going to dive in to the checklist a little bit deeper and get started. I'm going to actually come back to me and show you uh, how to do some of the things that you need to do for this first checklist. So I'll see you in the next part of this lesson. See you soon.